Okay. Now, you, you haven't been charged with any crime here, so you're no. not facing any criminal uh, nope. responsibility here. But you had gotten pregnant earlier that year. Yes, I did. And you had a miscarriage. Yes. Sorry for your loss on that. I'm sorry that happened to you. And this was a couple of months later, right? It was a month later when I had conceived again. Okay. And your doctor had said that post miscarriage mm -hmm. that you would be extremely fertile. Right. Right? That there's high risk here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you had sex with him. You're in charge of your body. He's in charge of his. That's Correct. my view. Okay. Now, you're in charge of your body. Did you want to get pregnant? No, I did not did want to get pregnant. Did you want to have a baby with the boy you broke up with that morning? No. Then why are you having sex with him in the back seat of a car that night with no birth control whatsoever? To be honest, I don't know. I well, wasn't, no, the, I wasn't thinking. I don't know thinking. is an answer. You, 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 you had no birth, you were taking no birth control. No, I was not. He, you were, you, he had no condom. No. You didn't even make an effort to control it. So this is what I'm trying to get to. You get in the back seat with, with this guy and you get on top of him, right? Mm -hmm. You said you crawled on top of him. Yeah, yep. Okay. And you knew you had a, a medical professional tell you you are extremely fertile, you have no birth control whatsoever, and you consciously, willfully, purposefully have sex with this guy. Yes. Did you fail to take proper care against getting pregnant? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you were definitely negligent. Yes. Okay, and so when, when you got on top of him, was he aware that you were yes. highly fertile? Yes, he was. And he was there did, in the did hospital. he ever at any point say, stop? He yeah. did tell me to stop. He did. He okay. said, whoa, hold on a second. Okay, so, so he did say, stop, hold on, wait a minute. Yes. And, and then you, you wound up finishing anyway. Yep, yep. Because he said that, wait a minute, hold on, I, I'm, I want out of here. I don't, no, no, this is not a good idea. Don't want to no. do this. Don't want to be a dad. Don't want to get pregnant. Not ready for that. He reached for the door and he says, you reach over and slam the lock down. No. Put your hand on the lock and said, no. and, and so the door didn't work. No. That didn't happen. No. Okay. No, he was very much stronger than I was. Mm -hmm. Well, but you were on top of him. Yes, but he was, there was enough room in the vehicle for him to push me off. There was enough room for him to get away if that were the case. He said you used one arm to pin him down, the other one to unzip his pants while you were sitting on top <laughs> wow. of him. Wow. I sound pretty crafty. <laughs> no, that never well, happened. Well, you know, I'm just asking. I, I'm just asking because it it seems to me like you were being pretty reckless that night. We've just, I we, was. Yes. We've agreed that you were reckless, that you were negligent. Yes. And the question is, did you coerce, no, which I, would I equate to, to rape? I definitely, you know, made some bad choices that night. You know, everybody's done it, but that night was not. I didn't physically force myself on him. I, I'm not that dominating. I'm just, I'm not. I did not do that. If he would have said, no, get off, I want out, I would have gotten off and he would have gotten out.